At Stepsen, we're really happy that we've released the Vercel integration. So with Stepsen and Vercel, you can build full stack GraphQL applications in the cloud. So Vercel is known for the great platform to develop, preview, and ship front-end applications. While with Stepsen, you can create a GraphQL API that's hosted in the cloud. And by combining these two technologies, you can build full stack applications on the cloud. So let's see what integration looks like. You can find the Steps and Vercel integration on the Vercel integration marketplace. On this page, you can find all the information you need to have to work with the Steps and integration. You can easily add the integration to your existing Vercel projects, or you can also use a template. So with this template, you can deploy a full stack GraphQL application on Vercel and Stepsen with just a few clicks. And this Stepsen template can be found on GitHub. So if you would go to the organization Stepsen dev, you will find a repo called Stepsen for Cell Started Template. And with this started template, you have everything you need to have a GraphQL API and a front end project that are both deployed to the cloud. The only thing you need to do is press this button that says deploy. And this will bring you to the template page on Vercel, where you first need to set up a GitHub repository, then you need to set up your steps and integration, and finally, it will deploy this frontend app to the Vercel cloud. And the nice thing is, when you set up the steps and integration, it will automatically create a GraphQL API endpoint for you and store the credentials to Vercel. In here, I need to create a new repository. So let me call this my steps and Vercel project. So this will create a new GitHub repo that will contain the code that we just saw on the started template repository. So it will basically just use the same code examples. And then I need to add these steps and integration. And once I press add, it will open up a pop-up that asks me to log into Stepsend or sign up for an account if you're new to Stepsend. Of course, I already have a Stepsend account, so I don't need to sign up. But if you do need to sign up, you can easily sign up on this page by giving up your email and a password or to connecting it directly with your GitHub account by using the social login for GitHub. I already have a Stepsend account, actually I have multiple, so let me just log in with my hello at hack theme account. As soon as I've logged in, it will propose me to set up a new project in Vercel and create a new endpoint for this project. So my new Vercel project is my Steps and Vercel project, which has the same name as the repo that I just set up in the previous step. I also see that I have a new endpoint uh, being created for Stepsen, as I don't have an existing endpoint that I like to link up to this new project. Down here, you can see that it will add the environment variables Stepsen account, Stepsen API key, and Stepsen endpoint to this for sale project. So once I press finish setup, it will create a new Stepsen endpoint for me and store the environment variables on for sale. It will bring me back to the template page where the final step is deploying my new application to Vercel's cloud. So congratulations, you just deployed your very first Steps and Vercel project. And on this screenshot, you can already see what the project looks like. So it will have a front-end project that is hosted on Vercel, and it will have a GraphQL endpoint that is hosted on Stepsend. So first, let us open the front-end project where we can see the application. If I click here, it will open up my deployed endpoint on Vercel.app. And as you can see here, it's a front-end app that is being hosted directly on Vercel. It also has a GitHub uh, GraphQL API, so it's taking data from GitHub, and this API is hosted on Stepsen. And I can easily use this API through the built-in graphical that I'm displaying on this frontend app. And if you would like to see the code for this frontend app, you can go back to the template repository that we saw earlier on. It has all the code examples to build the same page. If you go back to our project on Vercel, which is going to the previous page, you can see it also has a button to go to the Stepsen dashboard. So once I press here, I will be brought to Stepsense dashboard where I can find my newly deployed endpoint. And this endpoint will have the name API slash Vercel. And on Stepsense side, I can also query this GraphQL API 
by using the Steps and GraphQL Explorer that is available on the dashboard. And the same query that we just saw on this page, if I would copy paste it, we can also execute this query directly from the dashboard. We just paste this here and then get the same results. So it will tell us get up is still up and all systems are operational. If we go back to our for sale project, going back a couple of times, You can set more settings for this specific project. You can also find the steps and environment variables, which are your steps and account name, your steps and endpoint, and also your steps and API key. So this is how easy it is to build full stack GraphQL applications that are deployed to the cloud. So your front end app will be deployed to Vercel, and the GraphQL API will be deployed to Stepsend. And over the next few months, we'll be adding more templates with more examples for databases, GraphQL APIs, and REST APIs. And of course, if you already have a Steps and GraphQL API that you'd like to link to a for sale project, you can also do it using the same integration. So we'd love to hear what you will be building with Steps and for sale. So leave whatever you're building in the comments, and I hope to see you again soon at one of our new live streams.